truth and the life says the Lord no one comes to the Father except through me my friends the Lord be with you and with your spirits a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, it is so amazing to read the last words of Jesus to his disciples in this time of Easter. Jesus, the last supper, was giving courage to the apostles because after he told them what will, be, what will happen to him, how he will be arrested, crucified, put to death, and he will rise from the dead. So the disciples were so troubled. They lost hope and even trust in God because they were thinking that the death of Jesus is the end. So that's why Jesus is saying to them, do not let your heart be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. So now when you see reading these words after the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, we can see what happened exactly. The apostles now, as we are also reading the book of the act of the apostles, we can see that big change in the life of the apostles. They were so troubled when Jesus was preparing them to leave his death and resurrection. And now, when all this happened and Jesus rose from the dead. He gave them the Holy Spirit. You see now, they are not troubled anymore. They overcome that. And now, they rejoice when they see the, the, the risen Lord. I like the Psalms at this time, always, the disciples rejoiced when they saw the risen Lord. And now, they are going around the world to proclaim the good news, because they overcome the fear, they overcome the lack of uh, trust, lack of uh, faith. They are now 
going around the world to proclaim that good news that our Lord Jesus Christ is risen. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! He is truly risen. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! So today, now, Jesus is saying to us, do not let your hearts be troubled. And as you know, I'm sure that you heard this word many times when we celebrate a funeral mass. We are also troubled at that moment. We lose hope when we suffer, when we lose a beloved one. Like the disciples were prepared to lose our Lord Jesus Christ. And we have the same experience, the experience of loss, losing a beloved one, the experience of suffering. And Jesus is saying to us, do not let your heart be troubled. We have to live all those challenging moments with faith and trust in God. When we have faith in God, and also faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, we will see that we are not alone. Even in those challenging moments, the risen Lord is with us because he is the way, the way to who? To the truth. The truth is God, our Father, who sent him to set us free from the prison of death so that we can have eternal life through him who conquered death. That's why he can say also, I am the life, because he's the one who rose from the dead, so that all of us, we can have eternal life through him. In other words, so that we can share in the life of God our Father, that he is life without end. But in order for our Lord Jesus Christ to come in this world, to make visible the invisible God in our midst, thanks to the yes of our Mother Mary, we celebrate today as our Lady of Fatima, a Lady of faith and trust in God, a Lady of peace, the message of our Mother Mary is always a message of peace because our Lord Jesus Christ is a Prince of Peace. And in the world today, the world today with all those, all that are happening in the world, we need peace. And our Lady of Fatima, our Mother Mary, is there to intercede for us to his beloved Son. And we also as his sons and daughters, we are called now to stand for that peace in the world, peace in our families, peace in our countries, and peace in our hearts. Because only with peace that we can be open to the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the grace of the Holy Spirit, to stand ourselves also for peace justice and love so let us pray may our mother mary queen of peace intercede for the world today because we are in need of peace in the world and may the holy spirit who helped mary to say yes so that jesus can come in this world May the same Holy Spirit help us also every time to be able to say yes to the will of God our Father in our lives.